Hey guys, well, it's very cheesy I found to say welcome back to my channel so I'm just gonna be more casual. Um, this is more of a casual sit down. Um, I just wanted to, this is gonna be crazy hard because what I'm gonna talk about is really personal but I think when you can talk about these things it just becomes more liberating and I go on YouTube to find answers to a lot of things that I'm going through and it it's helped me um, and so I just want to be that person who's not just I it's not Instagram but like the perfect Instagram person um, I made my YouTube channel so that I can look back and recap my trips with my family, with my friends um, because we forget, you know, like our memory only remembers so much and when you look back at your videos you're like, wow, I didn't remember I don't remember doing that but this reminded me of that time when I ate grasshoppers um, so I think it's beautiful to look back. I've always made videos um, Even when it was on iMovie on my first MacBook It was like the dumbest video, but I just really enjoyed it. And so now that I Can buy stuff more high-end equipment. I am making videos and I love it and it's genuinely something I love to do and that's why I started my YouTube channel. Um, but I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing to my channel. It's There have been more subscribers now than I had at the beginning when I was posting consistently. Um, and so that's what inspired me to make this video. Um, and also be very honest with you guys in terms of like why I haven't been on on YouTube and I want to keep my subscribers and I want to make sure to give you guys content not what you know not what you necessarily want all the time not like posting viral things because just because it's viral um, I genuinely want to create content that will educate you will make you laugh will inspire you if I go somewhere I want to tell you how I got there because I find myself looking for these places too and some people don't give you all the information because they want to keep it to themselves and I've always been the person who wants to share um, all my moments with others and, and, and so that that can help them so long story short um, the reason why I've been gone it's going to be a long story um, it's been hard to travel during COVID. And I took a risk when I went to, um, my last video was find the ostriches. We were wearing a mask, but I've had acquaintances who've gone to locations and they've got COVID and they did everything they could to not get COVID. And when I heard these stories from my friends or acquaintances, I just completely dismantled any plans that I had to travel because you know people are very careful and they still get it and I'm not willing to risk my health for a video um, despite me loving making videos I genuinely care about other people and it's not just about me getting the virus but it's about me being asymptomatic you know, I could be that and then spreading it to someone. I would feel so guilty or even if I never find out and that person passes away, like it it wouldn't sit well with me and I don't think whether I find out or not, like I would want to do that to anyone. So that's why I stopped traveling. Unfortunately, um, I love to travel and if I could, I would go you know, and plus other things that happened from the time I posted my last video to now. Um, and one of the other things was anxiety. Like, 
I was living in an apartment where our upstairs neighbor was constantly knocking on the floor, banging on the floor every time I closed my kitchen cabinet. And I have anxiety and lately it's gotten worse. I think of the worst possible scenario. So it just was not a healthy environment. And yeah, it, it, on top of COVID, you know, the anxiety was just really bad. And it really holds you back from doing stuff that you love. Um, the next one is very personal. Um, I I had a miscarriage in December. Um, we found out that we were expecting in November. And I told all my family on Thanksgiving Day. And it was a beautiful moment that we got to share with everyone that we loved. We told our family and our closest friends. And we were so scared, but excited for a new chapter. Um, but God's plans were different. And, you know, things happen for a reason. And this was supposed to happen. Um, on top of me being anxious about me getting COVID and being pregnant or, you know, risking that just was an extra pressure. So I know that everything that happened happened for a reason, but that definitely slowed down my creativity. Um, yeah, it was just really hard to go and make a video when... I was dealing with something really personal and maybe I'll talk about it a little bit more later on when I'm more comfortable because I know that this is something that a lot of women go through and it's not talked about and I hear and I've had heard that but now going through it I realize women who do have kids some of them had miscarriages before having kids so um, it's definitely a topic I would love to talk about on my channel um, later on when I'm more comfortable. Next was the holidays. It got super busy with, you know, like cooking for Thanksgiving, prepping, what are we going to do? Do we have the ingredients? How can we get everything safely? Um, so that was a lot of work on top of it too. You know, you want to rest during the holidays. I wanted to do Vlogmas, but everything that i just mentioned was all happening and it just didn't feel right so hopefully this year i can do vlogmas i want a cute intro and i want to share more of my my life so that i can also look back but for you guys to look at and be inspired or like entertained i spend my day watching youtube i watch people like live their life they're like how they renovate their homes and honestly like that's my go-to youtube so if you are enjoying my channel so far i am going to make more content and i would love for you guys to stick around next would be um i got a job in november and i was unemployed from january to november so i was sleeping in i was you know just doing whatever i wanted which definitely helped me um, deal with my anxiety because I was able to do yoga, work out at my own time, eat better, learn how to cook new things. Like it was a time of growth, but also a time of sleeping in. So getting a job definitely changed uh, everything and made things a little bit more challenging because I was used to a routine and then I was changing it up. Um, but I am so happy with the job that I have and I also feel very blessed because I know a lot of people are still looking for jobs or don't have a job. So yeah, I we just wanna just, I'm so grateful, just really grateful, especially during these times. Next is I got married in January of last year and um, believe it or not, being a wife is really hard. I take it very seriously. Um, 
it's it's part of my purpose and so I want to do the best in everything I do and that's one of the areas so I have been learning how to communicate making sure I'm cooking and it's not that my husband expects me to cook every day but at the same time that is one of my responsibilities to cook you know he cooks breakfast I cook dinner or lunch as well and we help each other out so cause someone who didn't know how to cook I had to learn how to cook and serve my husband as he serves me um, and not just like serving food but like serving in my life like hey I'm gonna do this for you and then I'll do this for you so it's been challenging but uh, really rewarding to have a partner who loves you and who respects you and at the end of the day you get to go home with and um, yeah so that's another part of growth that I've been working with this year last year too both years <laughs> next has been my health because of my miscarriage I um, really took it hard and I was like what what am I doing wrong am I not eating right and you women ten tend to blame themselves but honestly the most most of the time you didn't do anything wrong um, like a l probably 50% and don't quote me but not all of our eggs as women are are good so what happens is your body doesn't produce into a baby it doesn't produce your egg into a baby or the embryo um, and so that's what it causes a miscarriage and a lot of times it's not your fault um, you've seen women who drink or smoke by accident or intentionally and have a baby and it could be a healthy baby or sometimes it's not but it it could be anything honestly and I believe in God so I think it was just God's will and I am okay with that next has been and I'm looking down because I have notes because I have a lot of points to just bring up and um, I'll put some timestamp on the video so that you guys can skim through it but next has been um, moving i ended up moving because of the apartment situation we moved and that was if you know what it is to move it's a lot of work it's a lot of money that you spent to rent a u-haul to buy boxes and tape and you know deposits for your new place uh first first month's rent like all of that um so that was a lot and plus where we're at um this new state we moved into it, we don't have family so we basically did most of it on our own but then we had some of our um, friends come from LA and help us which we are beyond grateful to them because we don't have many friends but the very few friends that we have we love them so so much and they have been amazing and they didn't have to come out here just to help us move but they did and so yeah um, the next one is we've been working on a project my husband and I um, a YouTube project and also like a separate project which we'll probably talk about later on when he's comfortable talking about it so that took a lot of our time as well on top of all these other things next is you know after my miscarriage I went to the ER because I was feeling like some really horrible pain and my medical bill ended up being super super big so that too like we've been i've been like trying to deal with that internally because i don't know how i'm gonna pay it so that's also like something that can bring you down emotionally next is because i have a new job i think i always want to do my best and so i've been trying to really like focus my energy on it and do my best and see where i can improve so you know like sometimes you do bad at your job and not intentionally but because you're growing and you're learning and that brings me down because i just want to do my best so that's been another part of my emotional roller coaster <sighs> next is um covid like the covid anxiety is real and i think it got worse this year because despite the vaccine um like I'm still waiting to see like how people react to it but at the same time like people are getting more laxed and I don't know like I said 
I may not be around or going out and like actively looking to get COVID, but anything I could touch something and I can get it and then infect others or others infect me. So it's like, and I want to see my family. I miss my family and I miss my husband's family. And it just is another emotional toll that comes down and weighs down on you. You go to bed and you're wondering like how your family is. Are people around them being safe? Are they being safe? Um, are they taking vitamins? Are they, you know, all these thoughts come rushing in. So that's been really hard too. Like it's been hard sleeping. Um, and I know I'm not the only one dealing with this. And I am lucky to have my husband with me that I can interact with. And, you know, but there's a lot of people who are alone, quarantine alone. Um, and that is really tough. And I think, well, it's a fact that mental health has been getting worse during this time. Next is new ideas for my channel. So I've also been inspired to make videos this year and have new ideas. So um, I want to start like sharing my experiences and my knowledge. And I think a lot of times the reasons why I don't make a video is because I feel like, okay, um, I'm not wearing the right clothes or I'm not wearing makeup or like things like that, that just make me not want to make a video. But honestly, that's out the window. Um, I genuinely like making videos. So it doesn't matter how I look. Honestly, like it's for me at the end of the day and for you guys. And if you want to stick around, that is awesome. And if you don't, you know, that's okay too because I respect that you choose what you want to watch. And it's important to to be careful what you watch. And also, if, if it's not something you like, yeah, like, don't stick around because, you know, like, you're not going to watch it and you're not going to be enjoying. So, but, if, you know, definitely, hopefully you do stick around and you watch and you support um, and I can make videos that you want me to make that inspire you um, maybe cooking videos or I burn stuff but yeah and I think this year I want to be more consistent not because I want to blow up but just because I think being consistent shows my discipline in making videos and that can transfer onto my personal life or my work life if I'm disciplined in this, I can be disciplined in different areas of my life. Um, and I work making videos, so this won't only help me here, but in my work. Or when it comes to a project, a freelance project or something like that. And it'll only make me a better editor, um, a faster editor, and more confident in myself. And like, I can look however I look, but I'm gonna make a video and I'm not gonna tear myself down because I don't look like that YouTuber or that person. So yeah, long story short, um, I'm back and um, thank you so much to everyone who subscribed and who's still here. Um, I really, really appreciated your support. You know, I see that the subscriber numbers go up and it just really means a lot to see that you guys are enjoying my videos, my tr old travel videos that even if we can't travel right now you're escaping through my videos and i really appreciate that and stick around if you're not subscribed already do so i'm gonna make more more content more um videos on my personal life you know there's so much that i have done and that i still have to do um so definitely you know stick around and i'll see you guys well first of all first of all I don't know how to end this. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll see you on the next one, whatever the next one is. Bye.